I do that like 50 times per day, minimum. Is there a next Marvel Doctor Strange movie coming up? Why is nobody talking about that? I hope he's not gonna be like this. What's up guys, Diving Sun here, welcome back to the brand new exciting video. It's time to discuss something. I love making these videos, I love watching these clips you guys watching these clips. So I figured let's dive in and start the week off strong with the one of our favorite thing to make. So I got a new fresh batch of tutorials we are gonna go through. I'm gonna make something exciting this time because VFX tutorials without plugging is awesome. I can do that. You can do that. Everyone can do that. This is some insane green screen work. Nothing is real. Well, that's why I love these things to make. So today I'm gonna make Doctor Strange shield effect. And before anything else, just hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel. And that's it, it's very easy. So let's dive into After Effects. So as always, I shot these clips on green screen. If you don't know how to remove green screen perfectly, please watch this video on my channel. And I have color graded this clip on DaVinci Resolve. Well, I have not covered that part yet, but in the future, I'll do the tutorial about DaVinci Resolve. And let's start with the shield shape first. Once I export the clip, I'm gonna find Dr. Strange shield on the Google for a reference. And I'm gonna re-import it to the After Effects. And then I'm gonna click on the shape tool and get the circle shape and draw it like this. Try to match the shape on the reference. Then I drew a rectangle and rotate it bit same here and we have these spikes here. So let me show you how to make these spikes. So first click here and hold then choose star tool and click anywhere and start drawing like this. I'll set the stroke to about 7. This is shape which we just drew. Let's scroll down here and change points. And change the points to 8. We can rotate it a bit like this so it will look straight. And then we need to play with these two values. Let's make it straight also like this. Then select this polystar path here. And press Ctrl D on keyboard. It will make a copy, scroll down and let's play again with these two values, inner radius and outer radius. Let's change it like this. So we will get these spikes here. Great. Now let's go to this icon and select merge paths. Then scroll down here and choose intersect. And that's how I got this shape. You can still make adjustment as you like. You can press S on keyboard to bring up the scale and I'm gonna take it to the center and match as the reference. And then I'm gonna play with the inner radius values and outer radius values as well. And adjust the scale a little bit as well. You can do the same thing with me and follow along. There you go. Now here the magic happens. And then we have this text here. And now I'm gonna show you how to type this text on the circle path. So I'm gonna just draw text rectangle tool right here. And type the text I want. You can find the text font in the description below. And then grab the ellipse shape tool and draw it. Make sure you selected your text layer. And then just scroll down the mask and set it to none. And go here, path option, select the mask one. You can type more text if you want. And then click on this icon and go to the rotation and rotate the text. You can add space here and also delete some text. It depends on individual. There you go. Now let's come to the shield animation part. I'm gonna select these two rectangle shape layers and hit R on the keyboard. And hit the key animation on beginning of the timeline. And then go a little further and just play with the value something like this. And select the each shape. And set the rotation animation. Make sure each shape has different rotation speed. And finally, it's gonna be like this.
and then I'm gonna select these middle shape layers instead of text layers and pre-compose it and then select these text three layers pre-compose it just like this I'm gonna select shape shield comp on here and duplicate it and rename it as outline shield then I'm gonna make a new composition and drag this original footage to the composition. Once done, I'm gonna select the text and outline shield and drag it up to the footage, just like this. And then hit the S key and adjust the scale something like this. Once done, I'm gonna pre-compose the both layers. Name it as glow matte and hit OK. And then I'm gonna double click on the layer and grab this outline shield to the bottom and make new black solid layer. And grab this layer bottom to the text shield layer and make invisible the text shield layer just like this. And then I'm gonna select the solid layer and go to the effect panel, grab the fractal noise to the layer. And then here I'm gonna tweak the settings. You can just follow me and do the same thing but it depends on individual. Then here I'm gonna add expression, hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch. <laughs> I'm gonna type the 150 but you can type the number as you want. Once done, hit play and check the turbulence. And then select the outer shield layer and change the layer mode to the luma matte. Once done, it's gonna be like this. Then select the black solid layer and hit ctrl D and duplicate it. And then grab this solid to the top. I'm gonna select the text shield layer and change the layer mode to the luma mat. And then I'm gonna select the four layers and hit control and duplicate it. Select this outer shield layer and text shield layer in the bottom and make it invisible like this. And then go to the outer shield layer on the top and grab the fast box blur effect from the effect panel. And then increase the blur radius to around one just like this. And then select the bottom two layers and make them visible and it's gonna be like this if you play back I'm gonna select all layers and pre-compose it and name it as shield once done I'm gonna go back to the footage layer and delete the shield which I was adjusting the scale and grab the shield layer which I pre-composed just now and I'm gonna adjust the scale And I'm gonna add curves to the layer and adjust the red, green and blue values like this. And then go to the effect panel and add the glow effect to the shield layer and tweak the settings like this. And again grab the glow effect on the layer and I'm gonna tweak values like this. Glow threshold, glow radius, glow intensity and change the color as well. Once done, I'm gonna add tint effect to the layer and adjust the tint amount like this. Once done, I'm gonna add bulge effect to the layer and have a little 3D effect on the shield. I'm gonna change the values like this and change the horizontal, vertical and center like this. You can see the 3D look on the shield, just like this. And then add the curves effect again, add tweak little bit to have worm color. Once everything done, you can see the effect changes step by step if you tick and untick the each effect just like this. I'm gonna adjust the anchor point to the center on the shield. Once everything done, I'm gonna track the hand and add to the shield effect. If you wanna know how motion tracking exactly in Adobe After Effects, please watch this video on my channel. And you can find the old sparks and project files in the description below. So the final output is gonna be like this. Well, that's cool. That's perfect. That's pretty basic Dr. Strange shield effect. It's time to wrap it up guys. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification icon so you know when I premiere next. Thanks for watching guys. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Stay creative. Peace.